everyone. Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, alongside Big Juan Rolf from Beast Sports Nutrition. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up? Welcome to Tiger Fitness Headquarters. Getting some good training in, some good eating, really good eating. Yeah, it was definitely really good. De def I don't even care about training. We just <laughs> ate, you guys will see the video, man. We just ate two triple bacon cheeseburgers and a large fry from Five Guys with mayo and everything. And that brings me to a point, you know, we were talking earlier, and, and we all had those guys like, "Yeah, hey, I can't gain weight no matter what. I eat, and it's, how much you eat, bro? Bro, I eat all the time. How much you eat? I eat chicken twice a day. And I don't think they understand for some people, especially hard gainers like, like myself and yourself, um, that sometimes to make gains, to actually build muscle and to become large, you need to get a little dirty. So you're known for your 20,000 calorie cheat days, for your, your dirty bulks. Now, can you explain kind of why you do it, um, who it's for, and, 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 and essentially like how it applies? Well, the 20,000 calorie cheat day was really, people kept asking me, how do you eat, you know, I mean, they saw the post, I would post every Sunday, they said, can you really, can you, can you show us how you eat on a Sunday? So I wasn't trying to exaggerate, if anything, I under ate that day, I wasn't trying to exaggerate how I eat. It was mostly just showing you guys what a typical Sunday would look like, and that day I was moving, you know, and so I actually was moving around a lot, so I really wasn't, I didn't eat at full capacity because I was actually doing a lot of stuff, so the whole thing is, is um, I, people, you know, they not feel well, you know, you know, why do you do that? What, well, if I don't do that, I actually lose too much weight. What happens is, um, I, I actually, usually when I start my contest prep, within like three or four weeks, I'm usually just a totally different person. Everything's pretty much in. Now, let's just talk about the off season in general. Forget about the 20,000 calories, we'll get to that, and why I do that when I'm in prep. But let's say last year in general, in the off season, I ate pretty much clean five days out the week, and the weekends I ate pretty dirty. So now what happened was, that whole off season, I had strided glutes. I was pretty much striking distance to contest, to pretty much to my contest weight. And anybody who followed me on Instagram or just on social media would see that I just was really in really good condition that whole time. When I started prep, I was at what my weight was supposed to be on stage, what I weighed on the New York Pro and the Arnold Classic Brazil. So I kind of grew into the prep, but not so much. I was actually lighter. And did I grow into a prep? Yes, I started filling out more towards the end. But um, for me, I, I guess what I've done in the past has worked. Just off season, eat as much food as possible. Um, I do some clean, some cheats. So I do incorporate clean food because that's a must. But I do, even with my cheat meals, they all have protein, fats, and carbs. It's not like I'm eating just ice cream by itself. When I have ice cream, I have a shake to make it, you know, more of a complete meal and get better. Get, you know, get something out of it, you know? Yeah, so, get some amino acids in your system, yeah. Exactly, so it's not all just empty calories. I don't believe in just taking empty calories by itself. You gotta have a justification why I'm eating this that certain way. So, you know, when people say I can't gain weight, it's because you're not eating enough. I've been around a lot of people who say they eat a lot and then I see them eating, they don't eat. So if you wanna be a bodybuilder, you wanna get big, you wanna make good big gains, and you have a fast metabolism, you need to eat. Don't worry about calories. Don't worry about being completely ripped year round. That doesn't matter. What matters is the size and putting on the size so the next year when you step on stage, you're 10 to 15 pounds heavier and done correctly. And you're training really, really hard. Yeah, and again, I, I like to add that there are different body types. You know, there are different people with different metabolisms. For the people with super fast metabolisms, I believe that you kind of have to do it. You're not gonna get seven to 8,000 calories in eating chicken and rice all day. It's yeah. just not gonna happen. So that's where you need to dirty it up. Now, for most Americans, a lot of the issue is losing weight. So, I mean, if you took an average person and ate what we just ate, they're probably going to have some issues. They are probably going to have some that. issues. That's why you will alternate a certain diet for those, for those certain individuals. But if you're not in that category, you need to, you know, not think, not try to diet the way they do because then you're just going to end up losing too much size. Yeah, I, I think that it's been said a few times. I know... Um, and I was saying, I don't remember who said it in Generation Iron, but a lot of thing that separates the great bodybuilders, look at the greats of all time, is their ability to intake a huge amount of food. You look at Ronnie and Dorian, I mean, their ability to eat a lot in the off season got them that level. And those are guys who are naturally gifted. So they process those nutrients mm -hmm. more efficiently than someone who's, again, like an endomorph, where they're more efficient at conserving nutrients. Whereas someone like you and me, we're more efficient at burning nutrients and expending nutrients. So again, it's not for everybody, but you know, while I like to say 
you know, um, eat mostly clean foods. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, he's getting, if you're getting six meals a day and three of them include your micronutrients, your healthier foods, I think that's going to keep you in a good spot health wise. But if you're looking to gain, again, this being big thing isn't for everybody. And sometimes you just got to get dirty. Yeah. And, and, and you know, people say, is it not healthy? Well, let me tell you, I get blood work every three months. I'm good. Cholesterol, everything is good. If you're training hard, I mean, we got that post-workout. You're training hard. You're, you're using up a lot of the calories. Your, your, your body's balancing itself out. So, you know, as far as, you, you know, look, look, most of America doesn't eat right. Not everybody goes, you know, when they go to the doctor, not everybody's unhealthy. You know, it's just how, how it is. Especially when you're training this hard twice a day, you need the calories. And, yeah. you know, it's like I said, it's not about eating the worst foods all the time. You know, you don't have to eat five guys every day. You know, you could do dirty foods, just meaning go to an Italian restaurant, get some chicken palm, some pasta, you know, get, you know, instead of that boring chicken and rice, you know, think outside the box. Eat big, get a lot of calories, a lot of fatty foods, um, and, you know, there you go. Yeah, but you guys will enjoy the uh, post-workout meal, but, yeah, I think that pretty much explains it. Again, like, for his metabolism, it's a must. Especially if he's compete with the big boys, which he does. Very effectively, Matt. Thanks for joining us. Again, Beast Sports. I'm going to link the info down below. Beast Mode Black is a great pre-workout. Amino Lights, great intro workout. And, of course, there's Beast Way. All three things available at TigerFitness.com. Thanks, brother. Now it's a party. And that's not a game.